Hello everyone, name's Lisa, JJ Movie 2, so it's Game Reviews, everybody, and now I'm going to give you basically my Vampire Diary Season 7, Episode 14 review called Moonlight on a Bayou, and here's the thing, everybody. This was, to me, the first true crossover event for the crossover event for the original Sam Vampire. This was the true best one, and the first one was in back in Season 5 where Caroline just up cows and Tyler went to the originals to do some shit, but this two-hour event for the Vampire Diaries and originals was phenomenal. I liked the original ones better this week. This uh, their episode for the crossover, but this uh, crossover event was pretty dang good. We got a lot with um Stefan. He's like traveled to New Orleans for a safe house, and Klaus is there. And we find out that Klaus knows about Raina Cruz, the huntress. The he, she lived in New Orleans. He knows about the stuff. He knows that she's uh, immortal in a sense, and that she can regenerate her uh, health, and she hunts down all people she can. Klaus is not technically afraid of her, but Klaus is, like, she's powerful. You don't want her as an enemy because she never stops attacking you. So Klaus knows about her. Um, He's pissed off at Stefan and tells Stefan to leave New Orleans. Him and Stefan have some conversations about uh, Caroline that uh, uh, Caroline was ha happening. The deaf her mother, like, why you're here? Ill because my brother got me into the situation, and that's the reason why. Also, Damon... Uh... We find Damon is trying to get Raina Cruz away from Stefan, and he works with Enzo, who basically takes him to the uh, supernatural place called the Armory. The Armory is a base, uh, is a base where all the supernatural. There is a group of people who collect all the supernatural objects, such as um, uh, weapons, the masks, and that supernatural they collect. They're like the ultimate collectors of the Vampire Diaries universe. So Bonnie and Damon are in there. Enzo was enlisted by the army just because the, Enzo wants to know more about his family and where he's come from. And since he was born in an orphanage, he knew, wants to know about his family and where he's come from. Later on, we revealed that Enzo is related to one of the people who runs the army. And Enzo's father actually founded the army. So it's kind of interesting to see how Enzo's going to fit in with this new group called the army. And what's this going to be his role in. And our name, um, Bonnie kind of chopped off his hand in order to, to get Damon away from Tyler. Yes, the... Armory, uh, Tyler technically works for the Armory as well. Um, da Damon actually put him in a coma in the previous episode, and now, he, since it's a full moon, Tyler's getting back, and he's getting all vicious and shit. And yeah, now he's going after Damon, and it's just this real episode was about, like, how Damon is selfish, and how everyone, no matter who he loves, would always try to save him, especially Bonnie, who's not, like, in a coma. And it's just a very interesting uh, way to see how Damon is just, like, I'm no good for anybody. I'm not good for my brother. I'm not good for Bonnie. I'm just going to go away. And that's probably going to be a big po uh, point for the Vampire next few in next future episode where Damon is basically going to stay away in the coffin. Also, we get a time jump in the future. Oh, we have um, Caroline and Lark. They were taking their, the babies out to a diner and then they're moving away. And Caroline's just trying to get through this stuff. Also, Mary Louise and Nora, they've been captured by the armory as well. And so, yeah, this episode was pretty dang good. And when looks like when Stefan's about to be taken down by Raina Cruz, Klaus comes in and kills Raina Cruz. With, he basically swings at her with a crowbar. He, she flies across the other side of the bayou, and that's just brutal. Another day, we get a flash-forward scene where um, Caroline's looking for Klaus, and Klaus has not been seen in three years. So whatever happened at the end of the original season three, they're going to have a big time jump. So no matter what, for season four, we're not going to get one year in the future. We're going to get it. Um, three years in the future, so it's gonna be interesting to see how Caroline's gonna deal with her babies and all this stuff. How is this gonna relate more? Are we getting our crossover event? Probably. And so, yeah, I cannot wait for future more episodes of the originals and the Vampire Diaries, but also, I cannot just wait for to see the next crossover event because this episode is pretty dang good. And yeah, this episode just really set up a lot of characters, all like what's gonna happen in the near future. And I'm really looking forward to the future seasons of Vampire Diaries. Hopefully there will be a season 8. So yeah, everyone named Lee signing off. Everyone, let me know what y'all think of the Vampire Diaries season 7 episode 14 called Moonlight in the Bayou. The first of the two crossovers for the, uh, tonight's episode. And yeah, oh, also one little mention. Um, Klaus told Stefan that if you truly love Caroline that you'll let her go. Because you'll never be happy as long as your brother is there. So try and make the sacrifice for him. Because Klaus knows that stuff about Elijah, how Elijah always sacrificed his love for his brother. And so basically Klaus is telling the Stefan just uh, 
and let go of your brother, let go of Caroline. Either way, you have to make this choice. So yeah, that's a pretty dang good instinct of Klaus and Stefan Bonding. But overall, pretty dang good episode. So yeah, Moonlight in the Bayou Review. Season 7, episode 14. Let me know what y'all think of one. Subscribe if you like. Just scream down down. This grave down to my comment down below. Let me know respect my opinion. I respect your thing. Please send me off for a good day, everybody. Uh, bye bye.